Welcome back everyone. Today we are going to be trying to form a Viberian Empire. Will I do it? Probably not because it's going to be a quite a lot harder than last time when I uh, united all Ireland together because this time it was quite a lot of people. I think we're going to all go as Castile. I think Castile is probably my best bet. I think it's, it's pretty much the strongest out of these four guys which is that's my main goal at the moment. So let's go after these four guys and then try and then expand out into these different areas but i think what we're gonna do we're gonna go straight toward this guy like when we play this island we're gonna go and obviously declare war straight away and raise our army and send it in because these guys are quite a bit weak i think yeah 600 guys so this, this shouldn't be too hard to do uh we, we are currently a siege in their main capital place uh but they're sending their troops no, no idea where they're sending them they're literally okay they're off the map now did this guy literally just, this guy just formed an alliance as we, at war. Uh, we got off, we've, we've taken them before we could even send anyone in. Would be nice if I could go after Aragon here. Yeah, this could be a nice option because the last time, these guys here took over Aragon, which kind of blocked me. Obviously, I have tried this once before just to, you know, give me a bit of a, a taste of things to come because of I am pretty new to this game i still haven't since last we played island i haven't really played too much we can't really go after everything i might quickly go take a little bit of land just to you know have something yeah these boys didn't sound a chance all right we go there yeah one thing i should say my plan is which actually i do right now is you see how there's different kingdoms obviously when we have kids and stuff i don't want them dividing up the empire so my plan is if i go to the king obviously i'm castillo so i'm obviously i'm obviously gonna go to these guys and then I'm going to destroy the title. The reason for this is because we've got the secession, we have partition. So when when our guy dies, they won't make a new title like this one. So if I'm correct, we should just be fine now. We? Well, obviously, we do have to spend 800 euros. It is quite expensive, but it's better than obviously dying and then our kids like dividing everything up like... Well, the reason for why it's already divided, both is already divided up anyway, so. I'm not really sure if we're going to be able to get the Empire, because we will need to do over 70 states, which, yeah, is quite a lot. We're probably going to have to take over all of this, and most of this. It's probably just going to be these seven states that we really don't have to take over, so. Now, I think we're going to go, I know it's literally only just without war, but this war here, I think, shouldn't be too bad, because we got 1,800. We got 2,200, so. We are getting a, a couple of achievements. We've already gotten two achievements. From this one was literally right at the start, no idea why. But yeah, we took them out and we actually cut a lot of ears. We only lost 200, they lost all 700. There we go. Enforce this. And obviously, like we see there, we've gone a lot bigger. Within probably what is this? Probably within 10 minutes, we've took on all of this, but obviously. It's going to get a lot slower when we take up areas. We've only got like 200 guys each. When that ends, I could quickly just go on and take that all over. That'd be good. And then after that, maybe I could go for Aragon. I'm going to try and build up my economy. I don't know if I should just like go straight to war them to take all this. I don't know because of what if these guys think would these guys get anything? I might just go in and try and take as much as possible. Right, I feel like I should just go after war with them to see what the hell happens. See if I can just take it without any issue. It seems like they're both chasing each other around, which is interesting. Oh, wait, what? Okay, well, something happened and um, yeah, we've just been, the war ended. Even without, even without having to force demand. So maybe they just surrendered and just let me have a land. But yeah, we got, we got this guy here, which has quite a bit of land. And you got these guys over here now. Yeah, there's, there's a couple of smaller guys up here. What about, we'll like to say quickly, I am thankful for everyone who put um, in the comment section, who put tips and tricks for me. Uh, I have obviously taken them and learned a bit more, but obviously I haven't really played too much since, like I said earlier. So obviously I'm still gonna be a bit, uh, probably a bit newish, but you can see here, we have actually already taken over quite a lot. Yeah, these like people down here, they get a lot of levies and shit, which is a bit annoying. We don't get that much. Why do I have a second bow thing? I don't remember ever getting a second one. If I can, okay, yeah, I just need 70 more and I can give it that thing. Wait, what, what the hell's going on down here? They better not be trying to fight for some of my territory. Oh no, it's just civil war. Oh wait, <laughs> this guy here with his, with his inner shit, I think he might have made into vassals and have it all going to war with him, but yeah, well, I guess it doesn't matter much. If they, as long as they're my vassals afterwards, and that's the only one matters. Uh, I guess one way to figure out is just to go to war. They only got 450, so hopefully, and the other guy, even if my own vassals are war, they only have 577. Seven. We actually got over, bloody, we got, actually, I'm going to wait a bit just to let my guys come in. 
And then when we go to war, because we, we have quite a lot of manpower. Oh wait, if we declare war, break the truce. What? God damn, we got a bloody truce. 13 months. God damn. Don't know why, I never realized this. You can, there's a bloody barber shop and you can change all the clothes and all the headwear. Don't know why I only just realized that. The peasants do have, uh, ha have uprisen, but I got enough soldiers, so I thought, why not just kill them all off? If you wanna, wanna do some rebellion, I'll just kill them off, you know? Oh, there we go, yep. And we will imprison the boy. You, you, mate, you're never coming out. You're gonna stay in there for the rest of your life. For some reason, I can create a candid, candidate branch or hell. Guess we'll create it. This also gives us thing, which actually is nice. I think it means we now have our own house or dynasty or some shit like that. Houses? Yeah, we got, we got a new house. The, the D to Toro, I don't know what the fuck it is. But actually, one thing we can do, because we got prestige for it, we can go here and we can destroy this shit. There might also be a better way to do this than just destroy the titles. Obviously, I will need two kingdom titles to make the empire, but I'm hoping that when I do that, Probably should just able to um yeah probably should just able to take over one of these bigger ones get their kingdom tile yeah see they get this kingdom now so if I change that yeah if I do that for as soon as I get rid of this tile they're probably gonna try and nix on my land which is gonna be annoying but maybe I could just let them take the kingdom and then just invade them really quickly and take them over I'm not really sure which what's gonna be the best option I think yeah well, I guess we will have to just see my guy is free so hopefully he survives long hopefully he doesn't just die out of the blue. Open dynasty tree. I thought we shouldn't we be at the top of a dynasty or oh, things. Well, I guess I don't know. This is start of a new house. Okay, I see. So we still got the same dynasty, but we started a new house. They fall apart without allied. So this guy lost a bit, but if I'm not allied, I could maybe go after war with them. Seize. Uh, well, I guess I could seize that eventually. So then I have all the land. But actually, oh, so I do need to also take this bit. Do you like these holy wars? But also, you do need. Quite a lot of shit for this. 700 and, well, 540, which is a bit annoying, but hopefully it. Actually, we're only getting Zoop on one a day. Alright, looking at this guy's allies, they're pretty weak, and even if all of them come to war with me, they don't really have too much. So I think we could just go to the war of Aragon, take over. Yes, it's just gonna be this one little thing here, which is gonna be an enemy, and that yeah, has hardly shit. So I guess we've got to war of them. We'll take, I guess, the Northern Territory. Obviously, as soon as we take these, I think I'm going to go after Barcelona, which even Barcelona is somewhat falling apart. Take these guys out. Wait, we didn't even have to take their bloody... We didn't even have to take their city. We just had to kill them. We must have killed every soldier they had, so they just decided to just give up. I think it would be good to try and just, like, instead of having, like, tons of little vassals, maybe have duchies. Try and get duchies or something going. Maybe, like, I might... Yeah, but grant that way. Yeah, look at that. See, that's a bit... Bit stronger. I think when I take over this, then I will we'll also give it to him. So we have, yeah. Instead of just having like a bunch of these one counties, I don't know if it's good to have like stronger ones or if it's better to just have like single counties as your vassals. I'm not really sure what is the best in the game. I think we should start putting some more money into our lands. We got 30, so we're not even halfway yet. Okay, we're quite 70 of 87. So yeah, we. We don't need 17, so more than 80, okay. Yeah, one thing was quite newish to me, because of obviously I'm playing uh, Spain, usually I was just playing the UK, so like, what, well, the British Isles, Ireland, UK, Wales, Scotland, all the religions kind of sort of the same, but with Spain, you sort of have the top part is Catholic, and the south part is obviously this, whatever this is, so it is quite new having like two different like religions in my, it's sorry, well, same empire, if I can speak English. The way this thing ended, I'm not really sure what, Really one on. Actually, I swear he's a bit bigger now, isn't he? I thought that was like a bit. I was missing one bit, but I guess all these are vassals. He has two tiles and everything else is vassal. So, our friend in this place has died. Actually, I've just realized he made his other place a vassal. So, actually, no, wait. Well, actually, no, it must have divided apart. I think his two kids got each one of uh, the lands. So, well, that's great. But we, to be honest, we don't. Maybe it's nice just to have a little one because only really. Well, we've got two strongish. Vassals, these two are strong, and all the other ones are like singles. So all these singles would pretty much have to work together if they were ever to like try and take me on. Right, we've got enough for a dirty building. Um, yeah, we need to figure out what I want to get now. God's sake, I've just realized I need to have a bloody title of Calistia. What's the bloody difference? I think I need the Dutchy tile or some shit. Oh, 
gives you a I could no, but then I won't have money. I need to create the duchy title to apparently actually have the duchy thing, which yeah, is a bit annoying. <laughs> yeah, okay, well I guess I might just put in for now, just put the money into these areas. I like the hunting grounds because it gives you two two of that. Also gives you 50 levies, which is nice. But I guess this also gives you supply growth. So both of these are this is 50 bucks more though. Actually, good news. Bloody the truce has finally given up. So we can now, obviously, as all they are weak, all his allies, we can finally go and take in the final the final bit of land. Yeah, see, look at that. We're getting some serious strength now. 3,700. Yeah, pretty good indeed. We are going in for the final blow. If it's like last time, they might just give it to me after as soon as I kill them. We'll just see. Yeah, there we go. And we take it. Huh. Yeah, I've just looked. Uh, and yeah, a lot of this place down here is really dividing up now. So, if I can go to war with some of them, that would be massive. Yeah, this place is all, like, going to war with itself. Actually, I just thought, I've just realised... We didn't get the, even if this was the King of Aragon, it's one bloody state, I didn't actually get the thing of it. It would have been nice if I actually got the title, because I realised if I got the title of Kingdom of Aragon, all of these states around here I could have gone to war with and took it. Apparently there's nine states here, actually no, 16 states, so, what's that, 13 more? No, 13 more on top of mine, that would give us 44, so... Well, if we take all of this shit, it would be pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Ah, uh, we just reached over 4,000 troops. Very soon, I think this could become the biggest ever army I've had. I think I had like 4,100 as island before, so as soon as we get past that, this will be literally my biggest ever army would have had. Actually, you know what, this could be the time to pounce, because their allies are, going, are attacking these guys down here, so it could be good to go now while they're a bit distracted to declare war and seize this one chunk i know it's one chunk but it's better than nothing i guess okay here we go we're fighting them we're fighting kill the buggers actually they're quite strong to be honest i oh, got them but actually no it wasn't too bad it only it's 200 but i thought that was gonna be a bit more bloody than it could have been i thought it was like there okay we took we took that bit of land we wanted now now uh Actually, we just finished our fabrication of this place. Attacking now. The allies. We could go for our our claim. There we go. And once we have our claim, we will have obviously we have we we'll have all of this kingdom with all this kingdom, this one. And as soon as we take this with all this kingdom's territories, technically. So, oh, uh, they must have just finished our war, but uh, and they've gained some territory. They keep coming back and trying to attack, but. Yeah, with 700 troops, mate, you're not going to do much. Yeah, there we go. We got this one bit of tile. It did cost us a bit, a bit to get, I guess. You know what? I think actually could be a really good option. I got 415 of this. I'm thinking we could do a holy war for the duchy. So, yeah, I'm not 100% sure how this will go, but... I think we could we could go after this. Is is this a crusade or some shit? I don't know. Is there anything special about this, or is it just a way to a different way to uh, go to war? I guess. Stop them, boy! Kill them. That's what we're talking about. Come on, get this place. Take them out. There we go. Enforce demand. Boom. There we go. Look at that Castile. We have our first holy war. We could also holy war this place. Obviously, we only have enough for the duchies. Actually. Would it be too bad if I took her? Castile will make Spain or oh, Iberia proud again. But yeah, these guys will be quite powerful if I was trying to go after these guys. So probably not the best option. This guy's got 21 people. 21. Not really the strongest, to be honest. Uh, actually, going after these guys could be nice. Get, get a duchy. Oh, I'm going to divide them up because he only has 904 people or 1,000 now. I should just be able to divide them up and... Take him down that way. I do wanna. Oh wait. Okay, okay, okay. I can get um. I can destroy this tile finally. There we go. We destroyed our tile. We only got one kingdom. But what does that mean for our kid? Is he gonna? Yeah, he's gonna try and take some of our land. See, this is a good thing about having enough just to split them in half. I can send these guys to go and deal with these guys while the guys deal with the main capital. It was taking quite long by themselves. So the side that way. What? Why have we gained a, a sixth place? Oh wait, because of these guys. Think there you go. I've just changed it from here to here because of. Uh, we are obviously making a good amount of money now. Even without war, we're making five point two. So 
don't think that is really too much of an issue so far. Why not do that? Right, go and kill these guys. Okay, we need three more percent. Okay, yeah, they're just running around in circles. I'll probably just sit here then. They're just gonna run around in circles. There we go. Enforce that, and we got ourselves a new duchy. Yeah, this is actually working out somewhat. We've got 42. If we just go after duchies, we might have to do it. I could go after this county, which I might just do the county. It's one bit of land, so I get to spare them nothing. Right, we took over this guy's kingdom. What would be nice is if you took over some sort of kingdom like this. Actually, what the hell is this? I don't know who the fuck these guys are. These guys must be at war with each other. Yeah, these guys are. There's a. Uh, yeah, there is a bit of an internal vassal war going on. As long as it doesn't thing over to us, that's fine. But yeah, it would be nice if we did some of this. Like, if you took over. This, like, technically, we took over this guy's bloody king. Like, county. So technically, you should be bloody out for war or some shit. I wonder if I grab my son as tight to what happens. Does he get a secession? Oh, wait. I guess it's not as bad as before. Because he already has one. Actually, maybe that's a way you can do it. Maybe you just give them already titles. If I get more land, I could just give him more titles and fix it that way, maybe. Just for a conquest. That could be an interesting way to do it. But yeah, we're definitely on the road. 43, we're over halfway there. Well, I should say, this is by far my biggest ever army. I've got f I'm going to have 5.5k when that thing's. When it comes to faiths, actually, this, guy, this place is Catholic. So yeah, some of them are actually changing faiths, which is nice. Oh shit, actually, yeah, this could be a good one. We could get this duchy. And then we could get, I guess, we could go after these two next. And then we can like, wrap around and then push inwards or some shit like that. Okay, that's good. Obviously, we are going to be out of this shit afterwards, which is going to be a bit annoying, but we just have to wait and save up for more shit. Like, go and stop them. Go and stop them. There we go. How many have we killed? 800. Nice. Okay, I guess we one good thing about having some bigger... Instead of having, like, all small vassals, like, obviously, like, there's a bloody faction forming. Three members. Actually, not too bad. Only. But yeah, having, like, I guess... Some bigger vassals like this, like as long as they have a position on your council, they shouldn't really like try and join a faction against you, which is which is good. But obviously, with all these smaller ones, I can't get like tons of small guys on my council. Okay, look at that. We are definitely getting big. We got 45, just 25 more to go. Okay, I wonder if I give him this. Okay, he has two bits of land now. If I go to secession, no, he still wants two. Actually, no, maybe because I got... Right, he has three tiles, all in pretty much different places. None of them connecting to each other. That, that must be great. If I go now to his session... Yes, he only wants one bit. Maybe... All right, come on, then. Come on, peasants. Play spawning. I dare you, peasants. I dare you. I, I triple donkey dare you. There you go. Yeah, the peasants are never really too big, to be honest. The peasants are under vote. The peasants have already been taken out. Wait, 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 wait. How the hell did this guy just get that one bit of land? I had that. How the hell did they take it from me? Some of them are unite allying up with some countries in North Africa. That's probably the only shot that are keeping safe from me, which is annoying. You know, as I am very strong, I'm actually joining this crusade, you know? I'm strong, so I'll join it. But where do I go for the crusade? That's what I want to know. Where do I go? Where do I go? Okay, so it's just like Italian thing and me, Carney. But usually... Usually a lot of other people join, so that's what I'm hoping. If this goes well, we put a lot of shit into it. Imagine the fucking amount of gold, fucking all this shit we could get. We could get a lot. The only worry is, what if my guy dies middle of the bloody battle? Yeah, less than four months to go, and we are beating him by a lot. <laughs> Launches in. Okay, it has started. It has happened. It was divided amongst the chipinch. A crusade is launching for Jerusalem immediately. Well, let's go then. More shit we get, the more loot we get. More shit we do, the more loot we get. Look over our guys going across the ocean. Right, you move there. I don't want, I don't want both of them on top, because then they're just gonna be dying from bloody not have enough supplies. Oh my god, there's 21,000 guys coming. No, fucking back up. No, don't fucking... Don't go to there, mate. No, back off, back off. Fucking run for it. Oh my god, I just had... Oh my god, it's wiped out. Apparently we have rank 1. That's nice. The same with first. Battles. Yeah, look at that. We're taking the place. Fucking take it. I've took this place. Apparently the crusade is actually not doing too bad. We got 71%. Actually, we've taken quite a bit. That's probably why. Uh, we can't take that. That's too many people there. Hey, where the hell is everyone for bloody support? 
Right, let's pause the game quickly. We just died. Don't want to make sure that nothing happened to our empire. Okay, our empire is pretty much still there, exactly how it was. Except for... Um, wait, what? Mate, what happened here? I'm hoping this war ends very soon, because it is a faction who is thinking against me. So as soon as war ends, the better. Oh, come on, man. Force of bloody demands. There we go. Okay, we did our first crusade. Right, we disband the army, a new kingdom. No, I don't want to play this. I want to keep going as me. Wait, what's this? Victory, so be it. Okay, so we get 719 coins, 3,000 prestige, and 768. Uh, what the hell, this is shit. So yeah, we are... Actually, that'd be good. Wait, we can... We should have to do a lot of wars. That duchy. Yeah, and then the other bit is, like, annoying, because I used to have it, but... The bloody bugger took it from me. You split off and do this bloody bugger. Deal with him. Oh, it's this bloody bugger. He has te minus 10% of generosity. Mate, if you could not do that, that would be very nice. I could save a lot of bloody money if you do that. Ah, oh, there you go. We finally can take this shit over. Knowingly, we got this one bloody bugger sitting in the middle now. Due to he somehow took to land before. I uh, grabbed all these titles away. Actually, what, what, what are we at now? Let's see. We're at 49. So wait, if we start this, we'd be at 50, which would be really nice. But sadly, we're not. He is 36, so maybe we might have to get all this done before... Before we die, that's what I'm hoping. Obviously, the thousand bucks. Okay, so yeah, our, our religion has definitely spread across all of them currently. Now, there is some bits which are still somewhat holding out. But yeah, everything is pretty much spreading out. What the hell? Okay, Britain is all over the place. Barcelona somehow won some thing with them. I'm not sure how. We're only using 2.1 per month, which isn't too bad compared to the like, was it like 10 it was at one point. Yeah, a lot of these small ones are gonna have to aren't even bloody initiate anymore. They literally fall within like a minute. They're just gonna be bloody running around. Okay, kill them and go. Hopefully now they have two, they have two little, so we can just then send half of our army to wipe them out. Oh shit, but fucking... Oh, we took out these, now we just need to bloody go up quickly and uh... Defend against Britain. I guess we are quite equalish. I'm hoping once we get our allies in, this shouldn't be too bad. Okay, we've just killed them. I hope we can take back our city. Why the hell? I keep getting these empty council seats. So probably dying or some shit. Not what I really want though. If we win this, we get 742 bucks from him. Actually, we're making 7.9 during this war. Okay, yeah, we're. We're making some serious dosh these days. Oh, there we go. We're in false, in false demands. We get some good shit from this. Yeah, we got over 1,400 dosh now. We got some good cash. Some good gold in the bank. Brittany, uh, yeah. <laughs> Brittany is 500, almost 600 bucks in debt. To be honest, I got so much prestige. It doesn't really matter if I call them allies. Okay, we're not. Go, on, go and stop these guys. Wait, what? How did they... Dodge me. There we just killed them off. I think because we killed them off, I think we'll just head to their main place now. So uh, some people are trying to create a faction against me, but they won't stop me from what I'm doing down here. Alright, enforce the mans. We have a kind of gone all over the place. We do have a lot of gaps in our empire. And if you look up, we got a lot of a lot of little vassals. Oh my god, these guys are by themselves. <laughs> these guys are by themselves. You should never be by yourself when I'm around. Okay, so we so we died, we died, but we got our sudden charge. <laughs> yeah, we got, well, we got, what, what do we have left? We got two bits, two bits of land. Yeah, not not really the best or the greatest. We're going to have to probably do this because of, uh, you guys are going to be a bit in debt. All right, there we go. False demands. How close are we now? We have to be close. Okay, nine away. We're nine away. The faith, look at that faith. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. There we go, just... Okay, there we go. Right, we got this one bit of land. We're getting now so close to bloody creating a thing. Wait, how's the... F oh, wait. Oh, there's quite a lot of peasants thinking about revolting against me, which is not good. But it was like last time. We should hopefully have to take them out quickly. We are only eight away now. Okay, I think once we get this ship, we should just be profitable again. I am hoping... He's, he's 29. I'm hoping uh, this will be our final ruler before we think... Oh, and this guy just... Well, everything broke up. Okay, maybe we can then just go in and take over everything we need then. That must have been the shittiest uprising. As soon as I called an ally, the, the uprising was like, nah, yeah, we we don't want to do this no more. 
and they just give up straight away without even a fight. The shittiest uprising I've ever seen. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just trying to go and pick up all these smaller shits where we don't have things currently. Ah, this is what I'm talking about. Look over, <laughs> look over your ally. All my allies now. I got a lot of bloody allies. Ah, I've enforced demands against him now. Now we've just got to do the other guard. Ah, the pot. Ah, the peasants are dealing with. At least the peasants, the only levies, it's, it's nothing I'm really that strong to really deal with. It's just some pretty weak peasants. Right, so we are literally only one, one thing away. But thing, I think I probably, what I need to do is try and quickly rush and defeat this guy, I think. I think that's what I need to try and do. I need to, like, build up the army and then quickly try and rush attack him, I think. I need to try and, I think I need to quickly try and rush attack him so none of his allies get involved. It was true to be done 14 months. That's 358. 2,804 Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to make sure I bomb rush him. If I can do that though, I will able to create the kingdom or the empire, I mean, of Hispania. Should be great. Annoyingly, the Holy Roman Empire has kind of formed Britannia. Otherwise, Britannia maybe could have been a good option to go after. Yeah, I know the other guys here. They have so many allies now. Hmm. If I do declare war on this guy, it does say apparently I will have more, more troops than he has even when allies in and all that. All right, come on, come, come the hell down, mate. Come on, quick, we take this. I've called my allies in. They have a big join the war. Great. As soon as we take this, I think it should be done. Yes, take it. We got it. Right, okay, what we're we gonna do now? Let me just do that just in case I things right. We're gonna create the kingdom of thing. We got two kingdoms. Now when we click this, create title. There we go. We are the kingdom of Hispaniel. Oh, what do you call Hispan Hispania? We have a kingdom of Hispania. Of course, we are. We just a bit of a middle and a bit down here and here. But I think I'm gonna end off here because it has been over two hours, two hours and twenty minutes it took me to do this. We do have a shit ton of vassals. But yeah, look at that. I'm actually really proud of what I did. I did not expect to actually make the kingdom or the empire today. I thought. I was going to make the top and I was then going to go to all of some of these guys and get destroyed, but yeah, thanks to the Holy Wars and all that, you can really take these guys on. I actually really enjoyed myself and it's more than I expected, but yeah, we created the Empire of the, yeah, Hispania, which is really nice. Obviously, at the end, the war's getting so close because everyone else left. Obviously, the whole of my Empire, super strong. These guys have so many allies and are strong. This guy isn't eh, quite strong and he has a lot of strong allies though, so all the other guys would have been really hard to defeat, but luckily we did it, so I'm really happy, so yeah. If you, do, if you guys did enjoy this video and want to see some more Crusader Kings 3 in the future, just want to like, subscribe, and comment, and yeah, see you all next time, so cheerios!